Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and as you see today I'm using unusual background uh, my blackboard turn it into a green board because I have to use black color today so I cannot use black color on the uh, black background so uh, here is a problem in the peppered moss uh, based on betel area there are three alleles that determine body color these alleles are all at the same locus the allele for pale color, which is small m, is recessive. A second allele, m prime, which is dominant to small m, produces a motted color called insularia. And uh, the third allele, m um, capital, which is dominant to both of the other two, produces melanic moss, very dark colored. A female moss having the typical pale color is mated to male. Melanic, uh, if half of the progeny are melanic and half are insularia, what are the genotypes of the two parents? As usual, I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So imagine that uh, in diploid organisms, uh, all the chromosomes uh, has pairs, and th that means uh, when we have two homologous chromosomes, all the genetic makeup are the same. But uh, some genes can be um, have, can have mutations. So in the same uh, location, uh, we may have uh, different um, variants of the same gene. In uh, uh, simple Mendelian genetics, usually we deal with only two alleles, dominant and recessive. But this time we have three alleles in the gene pool. Those only two alleles can present here simultaneously. But in the whole gene pool, in the whole, uh, in all spe in all representative of the species, we may find uh, not two variants of alleles, but three variants. And the three variants may produce, of course, more um, combinations than just two alleles. So, if you don't know, uh, if you're not familiar with the uh, colors, uh, here is a picture uh, of uh, the moss, uh, and this is uh, white or pale color. So this is pale color that we designate with small m, and this variant uh, we call insularia. Uh, we would use uh, gray color and this one uh, is melanic moss uh, so we would use black color and um, as you see we have uh, three uh, alleles which is uh, M M allele which is dominant over the M prime allele and m prime allele is dominant over m small allele and of course m allele is dominant over m small allele so uh, what possible genotypes can be for these three variants of color pattern of the moss uh, by the way uh, insularia is uh, color pattern that is uh, not a color, but color pattern, as you see, made of uh, spots of uh, different colors. But uh, we can say that this is also insularia. But to simplicity, let's say that this is um, pale, this is insularia, and this is uh, melanic. So uh, it is obvious that uh, for this type of coloration, uh, the only possible genotypes would be small m, small m. For the insularia, genotypes are possible uh, would be m prime, m prime, and also m prime and small m. So two genotypes can make uh, this phenotype. And for the melanic moss, we may have three different genotypes. 
the first one of course would be m and m the second one would be m m prime and the third variant would be m and small m so uh, two variants here three variants of the genotypes here and one variant of the genotype here um, once again our problem a female moth having the typical pale color that means this genotype only one genotype is possible mated to male melanic one of these uh, three genotypes are possible if half the progeny are melanic so this color and half are insularia or this color what are the genotypes of two parents our problem is not that complicated as you may think because it is solved by 50 percent already if we know that one of the parents is pale we know for 100 percent that genotype is small m small m so let's now build a few uh, punnett squares in order to solve this problem so um, parent one we know that uh, his genotype is small m and small m and parent two belong to one of these genotypes so let's try them in the order they go so let's uh, parent two would be a capital m and capital m genotype and when we build a punnett square simple punnett square we can predict outcome of such a cross parent one is pale parent two is melanic and here we have uh, capital m and small m capital m and small m here capital m small m here capital m and small m here uh, as you see 100 percent of the progeny would be melanic would have uh, the same phenotype as parent two so we see this genotype that is melanic and this is what we see here 100 percent so uh, we can cross out this answer because uh, the question i remind you we have to cross pale with uh, melanic and we have to receive 50 percent um, melanic and 50 percent insularia so let's cross another uh, two parents once again parent one uh, genotype is known parent two genotype let's uh, this time take uh, this genotype that is capital m and small m and let's build the punnett square one more time and genotype is going to be as follows and uh, phenotypes of the parents once again parent two going to be dark and parent one going to be pale according to our problem so genotypes of the progeny going to be as follows capital m small m here capital m small m here small m small m here small m small m here as you see uh, phenotypes of the progeny uh, going to be capital m small m genotype this is dark dark color in the progeny or melanic and uh, genotype small m small m this is light color or um, pale color once again uh, as you see those we have uh, 50 to 50 percent uh, progeny that belongs to different uh, phenotypes dark and light but uh, 
Our question was uh, what uh, genotypes of the parents have to be in order to produce melanic and insularia uh, colors in the progeny 50-50 or 1 to 1 um, ratio. So this is also not would be an answer to our question. So let's try the last variant when once again parent 1 is small m small m genotype and parents 2 genotype would be uh, capital M uh, capital M prime so capital M and capital M prime and this is going to be the last variant of a cross so uh, once again phenotype of the parent one is a pale and uh, phenotype of the parent two is melanic or dark and such a cross would produce following genotypes in the progeny capital M small m here capital M small m here and m prime small m here m prime small m here so uh, capital M small m produce melanic phenotype in the progeny and uh, prime m small m as you see produce insularia phenotype and this is exactly was our question uh, we have to cross pale parent with uh, dark parent and 50% have to be dark and 50% uh, have to be insularia dark or a melanic which is the same so as you see this is genotype of parent 1 and this is genotype of parent 2 now I hope you would be able to solve uh, analogous problems with three alleles very easily you don't have actually to build uh, three Punnett squares uh, for most of you it was probably obvious that uh, genotypes of two parents have to be uh, these genotypes but I have shown you all the steps so you would see uh, how to solve these problems but actually it should take you much less, less time than uh, my explanations took and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye